Xactimate's roof tool allows you to sketch a variety of roof types and combine them to create the right shapes. It's important to know how to identify the types of roofs before learning how they are used. Let's look at the roof types included in the drop-down menu. At the top of the list is the gable roof. It has two roof faces forming a ridge at the highest point. This simple design helps with efficient runoff of water and snow, can be designed to provide additional ceiling space, and allows for good ventilation. Next up is the flat roof, also known as a shed roof. The flat roof can be attached to a house as a shelter for a patio or sunroom, or can be a standalone roof. A traditional hip roof has four sides that slope down towards the walls of the house and form a simple ridge. The partial hip, or half hip, is comprised of elements from a gable and a hip roof. Much of this type of roof is constructed like a gable roof, with the upper ends being replaced by a small hip. The Dutch hip roof is a combination of hip roof sides and adds a gable to the center of the roof allowing for additional windows or attic space. This type of roof is ideal for shedding rainwater and snow and tends to withstand damage from high winds better than the gable roof. The gambrel roof, or barn roof, is a symmetrical type of gable roof that has two faces and two slopes on each side. The barrel roof is a curved roof constructed from a semi-cylindrical shape by placing several arches side by side. This curved structure can be used for rectangular buildings spanning long distances, or for decorative components combined with other roof types. Turret roofs have become a decorative addition to modern-day homes and buildings when using a multi-side tower. Turret comes from the Italian word terretta, meaning a small, rounded tower attached vertically to a larger building or wall. The turret roof can be customized for the structure by selecting the number of segments the roof is divided into, with each segment having an eave overhang for water drainage. Dormers are structures built on sloped roofs and designed to increase living space, improve ventilation, and allow more light into a room. One of the most common types is a gable dormer, as seen here. The roof list also includes bay and fan roofs that can be customized to the structure. Now that you have a basic understanding of the roof types included in Xactimate, you can experiment with the roof properties and combining different roofs together. This will help you identify and create simple to complex roof structures that you may encounter when estimating a claim. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.